القديم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلي وسلم على شيخ خلق الله محمد بن عبد الله وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وعليكم السلام وعليكم السلام ويلكم ايفري ون ان ذيس توك ان شاء الله ويتش ويل بي اباوت ذا ايميجينغ اوف ذا ماسكول سبيتال سيستم Uh, I think this is the most of this lecture uh, had been uh, studied in the uh, previous of the of the uh, block of MSK. Uh, inshallah, in which we are discuss the image modality and uh, some uh, manifestation of the disease on the MSK. And the uh, second half, inshallah, we are discuss the trauma or fracture. Uh, so, uh, the objective of this uh, session and the next one uh, is mainly, uh, we are mainly uh, discuss, we will discuss inshallah the radiologic anatomy of uh, uh, MSK in different imaging modalities and inshallah we are concentrate on the plain X-ray because it is a very important uh, imaging te technique for assessment of the bone disease and uh, uh, substitute also abnormality. Uh, uh, to analyze the uh, MSK image, yeah, for example, if you have a, a lower limb MS, uh, radiograph, we have to look to the uh, we have to be a systemic to assess systematic to assess the uh, the image, uh, and you have to put a plan to identify the abnormality. So first, if you if you if there is any abnormality, born abnormality, you have to know the site. Where is this abnormality? Is it in the epiphysis or metaphysis or diaphysis? And uh, is it in the proximal and distal? part of the bone, where is this where is this lesion? And also you have to know the normal bone density. And if there is any lesion, is it increase in bone density or decrease bone density? This lesion, is it more than the normal bone density or less than bone density? And also you have to know the the texture of this lesion. And also, you know, you have to know the normal appearance of the bone in the plain X-ray, normal architecture of the, and normal trabecula, trabeculation, normal trabecular pattern, and if is there is alteration of this normal trabeculation pattern, and if there is any distortion of the outlines of the cortex, and if there is any new bone formation, and if there is any displacement of normal structure, all of this should be uh, uh, assessed. Before this, you have to know the clinical. Always I stress in this point. Clinical data is very important. You have to link and correlate between the clinical data and radiological findings. Uh, also in this lecture, inshallah, we are going to discuss the fracture, identify some common fraction and this feature of fracture in general, which you have been discussed in the, uh, uh, have been discussed in the uh, MSK block. Uh, also, inshallah, with this, we are going to discuss the common MSK disease and to discuss the feature of the, this disease on the different imaging modalities and the clinical presentation of some of these diseases. Uh, uh, so the MSK system can be assessed by these uh, uh, modalities and technique, the conventional radiography or plain X-ray, which is the corner stone for assessment of this uh, system, the fluoroscopy, the, uh, in, in which we can use uh, live, which, which is a live imaging technique, and we can use it uh, to perform this technique, we can use uh, contrast. Uh, CT computed tomographies, or CT is a very important uh, imaging technique, MRI, 
ultrasound angiography for the blood visits of the lower or upper limbs. Nuclear medicine also is a very important imaging technique for assessment of the MSK. So, as we mentioned, conventional radiography or plain X ray, which is the most frequently used uh, uh, imaging technique for evaluation of the bone and joint disorder. Uh, usually, we have to request at, at least two views because one view is usually misleading or misdiagnosed, and you can miss many abnormalities in one view. So, you have to, uh, to request at least two views for many conditions. These two views should be at 90 angles to each other to, yani, to make sure a three dimensional study. Yani one view usually uh, not, help, not help us in identifying many diseases. For example, this is the anterior posterior X-ray for the knee joint, and this is the lateral. You can see the how much output density this is the basic yeah, density of the bone, which is opaque, density of the muscle, grayish, this density of the muscle, and density of air, which is totally black, and density of the fat, which is a little darker. Yeah, between the muscle and air is a little darker than the other soft tissue, and yeah, darker than the muscle. It is a not totally black. This is, a, this is a fat. It is a darker than soft tissue. Yani excess of soft tissue. Not, in, not totally black. But this is a AP and this is a lateral X-ray of the knee. Uh, uh, demonstrate the all the all uh, uh, anatomical uh, anatomy. You can see the uh, Tibia and fibula, you can see the femur, the patella, the joint space, the joint space in which there is a cartilage. So you can see the, this as uh, uh, <coughs> empty area, and you can you are not seeing any structure within the uh, the joint space because they, this in this point or this side there is a cartilage. So it appears. And uh, the uh, other grayish area, uh, and this is a lateral. And if you, you look to the AB and lateral, you can identify more information uh, more than in one view. Uh, also, this is an X ray for the uh, spine, cervical spine AB, and this is a lateral in which is the X ray is done from side to side, and this is the X ray goes from anterior to posterior. But sometimes we can need other view like this. This is oblique view, which is additional view. Like in the we have AP and lateral, additional view may be uh, yani requested for more assessment of some abnormality. For example, to look for the pedicles. This pedicles is more clearly uh, visualizing this oblique view. But so this additional views. Uh, can you tell me what abnormality do you see in this image? What is this image and what do you see? Um, plain X-ray. Plain X-ray of what? Yes, anterior posterior plain X-ray of what? Hand. Yes, hand. And joint. Yes, of the hand. When you see the all the structure of the hand, the phalanges, the intervertebral. Uh, join the metatarsa, the metacarpal, the carpal. This is means this is the hand. So this is the hand X-ray. Do you see any abnormality? No. No abnormality. Yes. 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 What do you see? Yes. Um. Is it more calcification? Uh, calci this one. More white. This. This one? No, this is a smooth bone. This is a smooth bone. Okay. Do you mean other other part or do you mean this or, or other? No, this one. Yes, this one. This yes. is a, this is a calcification of the tendons and uh, sesamoid bone, which is considered is, uh, as normal. This is the uh, X-ray for the same patient 
in other view, oblique view for the same patient. Do you see an abnormality for this? In this yes. Case? Yes. What do you for, see? For first metacarpal has yeah. fracture. Oh, fracture. So yes, thank you. So when view is misleading or misdiagnosed, this is for the same patient. So you have to do at least two views and try to do two views with uh, at nine angle degree to each other to get a three dimensional image. So there is a fracture, as your colleague, as you said, it's a fracture in the first metacarpal uh, uh, bone. And also this is an X-ray in two views. This is a AB and this is a lateral. In AB. You can see there is a fracture, yes, there is a fracture, obvious fracture. But this is a misleading because you can see less angulation. Yani in, if, if you look to this, it's facing the pole, not yani, severely angulated for, from this angle or from this view. But in the lateral view, you can see this pole is, you know, markedly angulated. So also this is um, uh, confirmed in the two views is very important for many uh, conditions. And then on some signs of disease. يعني دي مهمة جدا لأنه هي الأبنورمالية اللي أنت هتشوفها أول شيء. According to this, you can diagnose the abnormality. The first one is you have to put the normal appearance of the joint of the bone. يعني normal density هم شيء normal density and normal architecture of the bone the the trabic normal trabeculation normal trabeculation pattern put this always in your mind but when there is a decrease in bone density the bone density may be reduced in density يعني less dense and this reduction in bone bone density may be focal يعني not generalized in يعني مثلا area معينة there is a focal reduction in bone density is a term for this condition is called lytic area so lytic area is a term used for description of focal reduction in density not generalized focal reduction in bone density called lytic lesion or lytic area اللي هي بيحصل فيها شنو due to bone destruction in contrast, if there is a reduction in bone density generalized involving most of the bone, this is called osteopenia. So osteopenia is the reduction in bone density, generalized reduction in bone density. Lytic area is the focal reduction in bone density. And when there is increase in bone density, we call it sclerosis. Yeah, increase in bone density. Also, may be generalized or focal. If they can generalize, they can say they can say there is generalized increased bone density or generalized sclerosis. If they can see area معينة بسيطة involving by this increased bone density, they can say there is a focal sclerosis or there is a focal increased bone density. طيب نوضح الكلام ده على الامج. What, how to describe this? According to the terms. Focal lytic area. Focal, oh. Yes, area. the focal reduction in bone density. So this is a lytic lesion or lytic area. And how to explain or to, how to term this lesion. Local sclerosis. If there is a focal sclerosis, thank you. But طيب then نتكلم عن other abnormal things called periosteal reaction. What is periosteal? So we know this is a periosteum. Periosteum. If there is, yeah, it should be smooth like this. No, any, يعني overgrowth of the bone lateral to it. يعني again the cortex. So when there is a periosteal reaction. There is excess bone production by the periosteum. So then excess of the bone. Uh, this due to many conditions such as trauma, 
اور انفلاميشن اور نيو بلاز يعني دي فيوس رياكشن اف يو سي فيوس رياكشن يو ثينك اباوت تروما اور انفلاميشن اور نيو بلاز سم تايم ات ذا ايج اوف ذا فيوس رياكشن ماي بي ا كات اوف كاف اوف نيو بون ديس ميا كودمان تراينج از كوندر ساين ذا باسولوجي طبعا which is highly malignant primary bone tumor can be seen in high primary benign malignant bone tumor such as osteosarcoma osteosarcoma نتكلم عن البريوسيال رياكشن دي ان ديتيلز ان ذا نيكست سلايد ان شاء الله طيب استعرفنا تو ساينز اب نورمال ساينز ان بون ديزيز ذا ثيرد ساين is alteration in trabecular pattern. I'm going to usually look to the normal to identify the abnormal. So this is a, a, a trabeculation that has a matrix, network of vertical, horizontal. So this is, is a mat trabeculation. So this is a normal trabeculation. When there is alteration in this normal trabecular pattern, uh, uh, this indicates you know, the signs of bone disease uh, it can be characterized by reduction of normal trabeculae or alteration of the appearance of this trabeculation مثلاً in osteoporosis or in budget disease you can see you know in the there is a uh, يعني شنو abnormal trabecular pattern this may be uh, reduction in the number of trabeculation or ال يعني normal appearance of trabecular pattern يكون بشني changes يعني with abnormal pattern إن شاء الله هنشوفه برضو in many diseases the other sign is alteration of the shape of the bone يعني الشاب ممكن يكون enlarged يعني ممكن يكون الشاب يكون مثلا يحصل له enlargement of the bone this may be seen مثلا in acromegaly مثلا يكون enlarged of the jaw or enlargement of the uh, involved bone, acromegaly. Also, the other sign of disease is cortical thickening. So this is the cortex, the very dense disease. This is a cortex, normal cortex. The one center B and medulla. This is a medulla and this is a cortex. Sometimes the, the, they will see a thickening of this cortex, more thickened than normal. Uh, and sometimes it show irregularity. And heterogeneous, sometimes maybe heterogeneous or homogeneous density. Uh, the cause of the thickening of the cortex include osteomyelitis or in case of heel fracture, when the fracture of the heel or healing or trauma. But look to this fibula and fibula. In this uh, fibula, you can see the cortex not thickened, but in the uh, mid shaft of this tibia, you can see the cortex of this mid shaft thickened. So there is a thickening of the of the cortex. So this is a sign of disease. But I can show you which disease may cause this thickening of the. Also in this one, you can see there is a thickening of the cortex. I like the normal cortex here. This is a normal cortex, like in the mid shaft, there is. Thickening, more thick, and also there is alteration of the normal trabeculation, trabecular pattern. Yeah, trabeculation is a current here. It is here. It is irregular, or there is abnormal trabecular pattern. Yeah, the total can vertical and horizontal deal and of get altered. Yeah, there is a change in normal trabeculation pattern. So this is you know we. That we mean by the alteration normal trabeculation better. They may have had Kalam and Preocean reaction, and then you for formation due to inflammation or new blast. So this slide explains the different types of Preocean reaction. In the first image, image A, you can see I was the blast on this cortex, and this is a cortex. Last of the cortex. You can see this now, the new bone formation, this line, the new bone formation, how in the other bone, 
this is a new bond formation but this is a periosteal reaction if you look to it it looks smooth this is a somewhat smooth lamellar periosteal reaction in this radius and anna smooth periosteal uh, smooth lamellar periosteal reaction and this is commonly seen in non-accidental injury in child abuse this you know it could be smooth lamellar periosteal reaction similar to this in this uh, tb um, ulna and radius but this is a characteristic of non-accidental injury if you look to the image b you can see also there is a periosteal reaction new bone formation which is the motion speculated or sun ray بعض المنطقة اللي فيها فيها المنطقة الدنسيتي بتاعتها أكثر أكثر من السطفيسي يعني هنا في كالسيفايد نيو بون فورميشن عرفنا كيف لأنه في مور دنسر اريا دي يصبح لنا السن ري تسمى سبيكيوليتد أور سن بروسي رياكشن ويتش إز كاركتريستيك أوف وات هي كومنلي سين إن أوستيو جينيك ساركوما أور أوستيو ساركوما Osteo sarcoma, new bone formation is characteristic shape preosteal reaction, speculated or sun ray. In image C, this is the X-ray of the lower limb. You can see also new bone formation, terminate preosteal reaction. Also, this is a reaction is, يعني عنده many layers. حصل عنده مثلاً first, second layers or فلذلك يسموه شنو؟ Onion skin pre-osteal reaction. This is onion skin pre-osteal reaction which is يعني seen frequently in patients with ewing sarcoma. وبيشبه قريب ال 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 pre-osteal reaction ذات اللي سموز لامير لكن ده بكون عنده layers بتاعته أكثر يعني. فيصبح onion skin pre-osteal reaction commonly seen in the uh, during sarcoma. Uh, the, in this one, you can see, I'll tell them the Codman triangle, uh, which is seen, seen in the uh, osteosarcoma, and here due to uh, in the edge of the lesion, so then I lift up from the from the cortex or the normal bone. لاحظ إن هنا في ال ال area دي هي lifted from the normal bone. فعملنا triangle the more common triangle commonly seen in the osteosarcoma. So these are the commonest periosteal reaction. Periosteal reaction. It could be caused by trauma or neoplasm or infection, and there are many. Appearance of this periosteal reaction. You have to look uh, to many periosteal reactions to know which one is this. Is it onion skin or some uh, sun ray and speculated? Is it the uh, lamellar periosteal reaction? The, now we are complete the uh, conventional X ray or plain X ray. Now we are going to discuss the fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy now not done frequently by the uh, uh, for assessment of the joint and here you are done for assessment of the joint and and also fluoroscopy can be used for assessment of the blood vessels arteriography yani. like for arteriography it is not commonly done now yani it is obsolete te technique because mri replaces it yani we can get more information that yani can be identified by Arthrography by MRI. لذلك وهي طبعا invasive technique. Arthrography is uh, not commonly done now. Uh, arthrography is done by introduction of contrast in uh, joint space. In physiotherapy, and then بنعمل بنعمل شنو imaging by the fluoroscopy for assessment of the joint space. The next technique is CT. زي ما عرفنا CT هي شنو axial. التوست ده هي بنعمل اي سي تي من يقول لك سي تي تتاكد ان هي اكزيال سكشن اكزيال سكشن لكن الحمد لله ات كان بي ريفورماتد انتو اذر انتو كرونال 
and take it here. If you need back in here, aggregate. Back in it can be the image could 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 be reformatted into other paints such as coronal and sagittal and even into 3ds the 3d 3d طبعاً عندها يعني لما نزول يكون قاعد الواحد يكون قاعد في ال في الكونسول أو في ال 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 اسمه هي ال في الأوبريشن روم يعني على الكمبيوتر you can rotate this image يعني upside down toward the left to the right to look for 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 this image from any side فلذلك هي كأنك أنت بتنظر للبيشن دي من from down to up from the lateral side from it gives us more information about the يعني manage this especially in the MSK this is a three dimensional TT of the Belfield طبعا احنا السي تي نعمل قلنا اكزيال ات كان ديمونستريت دي سوفت تيشو ان او ان اور سي يو كان دو بون ويندو ذيس بون ان بون ويندو دي بون ابير مور كلير ذان ذا اذر ستراكشر فهي يوجوالي دان ان كيس مثلا اوف تروما اور كيس اوف مثلا سسبكتد ميتاستاسيس فبون ويندو سيتنج شود بي فيود وين ريبورتنج سي تي برين يعني اذا عملنا سي تي برين يعني especially if there is a history of trauma you have to assess the bone by bone window not in the soft tissue window bone window should you should look to the bone window and the bone become more uh, clearly uh, visualized or visible in the bone window and also in chest to assess the, the, the bone structure the ribs the scapula the also to be looked for in uh, Chest X-ray and chest CT and also in abdomen to assess the vertebra to any bone structure in the abdomen, especially if there is a history of trauma. For the MSK, this CT play very important role in case of complex trauma. Complex trauma, that trauma involving the belfies or the mainly the belfies or the spine, because the belfies and spine are some of them complex bone. And if you look to the the belfies, يعني هو نقطة يعني one unit كده يعني كان see من مثلا في anterior spinous process posterior spinous process بالن superior ramus and inferior ramus. but so يعني by X-ray, plain X-ray you can miss the fracture in مثلا acetabular region مثلا. لكن CT is more sensitive in this complex trauma in the and even in also in the you know in the spine. يعني السباين برضو في الكمبلكس بارت يعني ما زي ال نوت زي مثلا التيبيا الفيبيولا اللونج بون دي كان بي اسس ويل باي ذا بلين اكس راي بس ذا سباين كونسيست اوف ماني بارت سباينس بروسيس ترانسفير بروسيس بيديكال سان لامينا ان ارتيكولار سيفير ارتيكولار بروسيس انفيرير ارتيكولار سو ات از كان بي Uh, not well assessed by plain X-ray, but CT is very important technique for assessment of trauma in case of the uh, uh, spine. Intraarticular abnormalities, there is a, uh, any, uh, example, for example, fusion, or uh, is there is an intraarticular fracture can be easily detected for the, if there is any uh, bony fragment within the Uh, joint also can be assessed well by CT than the other technique. Uh, fracture associated with soft tissue injury. If there is a matter of fracture of the rib, this rib may cause, uh, a soft tissue, مثلا, a spleen laceration or liver. Uh, if the, so the soft tissue injury, the solid organ uh, that involved uh, in the fracture. It can be well assessed by CT, like in by, by X-ray, not. And the patient, for example, has fractured rib. I saw him, for example, injury to the spleen by X-ray. X-ray not help us in assessment of the spleen, but CT in this by CT, you can assess the soft tissue, uh, the solid organ, and also CT can be used for taking a biopsy, uh, for guidance and uh, and guiding a needle for taking a biopsy. For example, patient for example, the deep. Lesion in the bone, not superficial, but superficial 
Legion it can ultrasound can guide the needle to take a biopsy. But for the deep lesion, uh, difficult to guide the needle by ultrasound. So CT may be the option, is the intervention uh, option for guide a needle for taking a biopsy, especially in deep lesion. They may claim a complex fracture can be missed by plain X-ray, but this is CT axial and this is CT coronal. You can see this is fracture is amenely X-ray. This is a fracture may be met. This is a tabular fracture may be met by the plain X-ray. But CT is a good technique for assessment of this complex fracture. Uh, and this is a coronal for the same patient to mysterious well this fracture in the acetabular region. But so CT is better than X-ray in assessment of fracture. Ultrasound play also very important role in MSK. It is a good for soft tissue. At the end of the ultrasound for soft tissue, it can be assessed uh, the soft tissue abnormality and, uh, and also can assess the bone, the more MSK ultrasound. Uh, one of the advantages of ultrasound, you can Compare between the two sides. يعني مثلا patient عنده pediatric مثلا حنشوف إذا مثلا عنده congenital hip dislocation. You can look to the normal مثلا side, then to the other side to compare. Usually with comparison you can know the abnormality. Comparison help you in identify the abnormality always, even in other modality or other examination, مثلا just X-ray. If you compare between the two sides, مثلا zone, zone, upper zone in both left uh, of both lung, mid zone, lower zone, if you compare, you can identify the abnormality. But so ultrasound can, in, by ultrasound, you can compare between the two sides, the normal side and the other side, to know the abnormality more clear. Arfin ultrasound use no ionizing radiation to um, and it can be more it can be taken to the patient bed so it is a mobile uh, 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 and also it is non-invasive modality require no any needle or catheter or you can scan the patient directly by the prop externally externally and sometimes you some some technique requires uh, uh, intracavitary uh, examination, for example, transrectal, transvaginal, but ultrasound can be done externally. Transabdominal ultrasound uh, done by uh, is scanning the patient from uh, outside. And it is inexpensive compared to the others, and compared to especially uh, to the CT and MRI. It is just expensive and available even in any center. Uh, the application of ultrasound in MSK is can be done for its evaluation of rotator cuff. We have a rotator cuff uh, composed of many uh, tendons, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subscapularis, well, well, the of rotator cuff can be assessed by ultrasound, although. يعني MRI طبعا is better لكن this can be evaluated by the this is a ultrasound for the supraspinatus tendon it should be normal if it's abnormal it may show uh, it may show مثلا increased thickness or uh, abnormal echo uh, and also can be used for many other tendons Achilles tendons and other طبعا واحدة من the most important application of this ultrasound or indication is assessment of the congenital hip dislocation or dislocation of subluxation uh, of hip in infant, especially less than six months. For infant less than six months, ultrasound is the uh, examination, is the imaging modality of choice, less than six months. So if my question, how to assess the patient more than six months if you suspect uh, congenital MRI, is there, is there any other suggestion?
Kita, you have, kita, you want to assess the, um, the head of the femurs, the uh, cavity, the, the, the joint, yeah, in this, in the, uh, in this child or infant. If I can, who are less than six, gunna, you can assess the, uh, the integrity of the um, head of the femur to, into the uh, acetabula. Is it well in place or not? Uh, if less than six months, it's usually assessed by the ultrasound. The more than six months, usually assess this patient by plain X-ray. The speculation no before six months, yani plain X-ray. Radiation. Mm -hmm. Ionizing radiation. Yani, yani now we avoid the radiation, so we didn't do the. Uh, Plain X ray for patient less than six months or for other reason. So if how bone appear on X ray? Dense. Dense or opaque. Yeah. Oh, opaque so so. Yes. Uh, in patient less than six months, what is the yeah, how about the this uh, uh, age uh, bone? Yeah, the bone before or the consistency that more age yeah, composed of meat, which is tissue or which is structure? Uh, uh, cartilage. Oh. Yes, cartilage. So what? How cartilage appear on X-ray? Soft tissue, uh, grayish. I think I grayish. لذلك إحنا يعني up to six months لأن البوم بيكون cartilaginous بيكون ال plain X-ray give us less information. ما بنقدر نشوف ال ال to assess the head of the femur مع ال acetabulum. لكن نانو بيكون not classified yet. لذلك we prefer to know ultrasound. After six months, بيحصل calcification usually of the bone بيكون calcified. So it will be easily assessed by the plain X-ray. لذلك نحن نستخدم X X ultrasound before this of ossification. يعني هو up to six months we use you know ultrasound and after six months we use plain X-ray MRI. يعني not commonly used for assessment of the congenital hip dislocation or the dysplasia. يعني طيب نحن زي ما بكرر لكم دائما إنه فذيس إذا ذيس بروب بوت في the area of the hip joint to assess this infant for the congenital hip dysplasia. طيب أنا بكرر لكم دائما إنه الالتراساون أكثر حاجة بتحب ال which media which يعني الأشياء اللي بتحب الالتراساون وبتجيب أص more يعني هاي كواليتي فلويد يا فلويد لذلك احنا اذا كان الفيشن عنده جوينت فيوجن يعني فلويد الترا ساوند يعني فيري جود تكنيك فور اسسمنت اوف جوينت فيوجن ام اولسو كان جايد ذا نيد فور اسبيريشن فور اسبيريشن فور تريتمنت اوف فور ذا يعني فور ذا سايكولوجي لكن ام ار اي ستيل از سيوبيريور يعني احيانا بيكون عندنا سمول اموت اوف فلويد نوت ديتكتد باي الترسون مع انه الترسون هي يعني سنسيتيف فور ذا ان جود تكنيك فور فلويد لكن اف ذيس فلويد از نوت ديتكتد باي باي الترسون ام ار اي كان ديتكت ايفن فيري سمول اموت لكن الترسون ستيل از ا جود تكنيك فور اسسمنت اوف ذا افيوجن Scintigraphy, radioglide, radioisotope, nuclear medicine technique. This is a very important for assessment of the MSK. We have one in the radioisotope, mad, radio pharmaceutical, given to patient IV. Our circulation with empty blood gas will have to take. And then a normal uptake can be seen. يعني مثلا this is an adult and this is a child you can see the مثلا red pharmaceutical or excreted in the blood in the urine and seen in the urinary bladder 
and there is no increase of take and here could a normal area of the uh, <coughs> uh, here is a joint what is this joint Yes, what is this bone? What is this bone? The hip bone. Which part of hip bone? It, iliac. And this is a sacral. For this is a sacral. Iliac joint shows, you know, increase, yani, uptake, yani, stroke is more dark. And some of the spine may be uh, the clavicle and the scapula ribs. It can show this is a normal uptake. You can see the kidneys, right and left kidneys. And in the ch children, you can see the gross plate. The physical plate normally shows uptake. You have to put more dark. This is normally. Uh, so this is a, 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 a <coughs> red pharmaceutical injected IV to assess the uptake. And then many diseases can show abnormal increase of take in case of fracture or tumor benign or malignant tumor or infection or infection or budget disease or this condition if if there is any one of these diseases as the area of this disease you can see this new increase of take but the fracture rib as the area of the fracture rib, you can see abnormal increase of take and once you have more dark, more black. And, and also, if there is a tumor or budget disease or infection, it, it, this uh, appear as area of increase of take. Uh, uh, indication for the radio pharmaceutical or radioclide bone scan is assessment of fracture, and sometimes this fracture might not be seen early especially the subtle fracture and yeah, very small fracture cannot be seen earlier but uh, this is a thing that is very sensitive for detection of this fracture it can display this fracture within two to three days and i can tell them in detail and now for the example the whole stress fracture have one of the example of this condition so when you glide door is can can be used for assessment of fracture because it is very sensitive and can increase, can uh, demonstrate the fracture within two to three days. Uh, this is abnormal radioclide bone scan. You can see there are, there are many hot spots, hot spots or, or increased, you know, activity or increased uptake. But this uh, is scattering most of the bone, the humerus in the ribs, in the lower limbs, in the femur, um, in the pelvic bone. But this is the most likely, this patient or is known case of TA prostate, carcinoma of the prostate. So what is the most likely diagnosis? This patient is known case of carcinoma of the prostate. This metastasis. Is the, yes, metastasis. All, all these lesions are metastasis. And here, hot spots, the increase of take is the uh, uh, metastasis. Okay, uh, we have talked about MRI, the role of MRI in MSK, MRI in bone disease and skeletal trauma. MRI can demonstrate the bone marrow. We have MRI. This is a bone marrow. Bone marrow can be well demonstrated by the by the MRI. Like in the flag, they are the cortex. Cortex to con flag. Like in the Zahirlena, they call the bone marrow. Bone marrow. MRI is a good imaging technique for assessment of bone marrow. So it can can help us in any disease involving this part, such as metastasis or infection. And this MRI can demonstrate the infection, but an osteomyelitis or secondary metastasis in the bone before CT and plain X-ray. And it is more sensitive, MRI is more sensitive in, uh, uh, in assessment of the uh, bone marrow abnormality. 
regards to the uh, is a patient suspected مثلاً osteomyelitis مثلاً plain x-ray can normal or uh, CT can normal in early stages this bone marrow uh, this MRI can demonstrate this uh, uh, bone marrow abnormal is this you know, uh, infection or osteomyelitis also MRI can be used for assessment of soft tissue زي مكلم دائما إنه MRI is superior than CT on and soft tissue and CT is superior than MRI in bone structure. So MRI can can be used for assessment of the soft tissue such as tendons, muscle and ligament, especially in knee joint. يعني knee joint يعني well assessed by the MRI. يعني عندنا many soft tissue هنا. And the cartilage, and the ligament, and the tendons, uh, muscles. So this uh, MRI play a very important role in assessment of soft tissue, especially in knee joint. They may tell me that the ultrasound here, you know, the help of fluid. Is that a good technique for assessment of the fluid? Like in some time, if the fluid, this joint fusion is not detected by ultrasound, MRI. Play a very important role in this time. So MRI is widely used for detection of abnormal joint fluid. Yeah, it is superior than ultrasound. And MRI is the best examination for sport injury. ذلك أي لا الكرة والله صعبة بنعمل assessment مثلاً بالسات الليجامنت مثلاً صلي ACL anterior cruciate ligament tear suspected يعني. MRI is the best for examination of sport injury and also for assessment of scaphoid fracture. And the scaphoid fracture uh, is the patient muscle present with uh, uh, features or clinical presentation of scaphoid fracture. We have to do x ray for this uh, as the initial investigation. You have to do plain x ray. That is, sometimes this fracture cannot be. Demonstrated by may not be demonstrated by the plain X-ray. Back in MRI can demonstrate this fracture. حتى في ناس هسه الآن بيقولوا يعملوا بروتوكول إنه from the start any patient suspected يعني clinical إنه هو scaphoid fracture يعني إذا you start you have to start with MRI not see plain X-ray وإذا كانت normal نعمل MRI. لكن Till now, the protocol is to, you have to do plain X-ray for assessment of the patient uh, suspected scaphoid fracture. Plain X-ray can demonstrate, but sometimes cannot. Back in MRI is superior and the best method for assessment of scaphoid fracture. Uh, this is a MRI uh, sagittal and MRI acronal for the knee joint. You can see the. Uh, BCL, posterior crochet ligament, the femur, the tibia, the, um, the patella, the uh, <coughs> superpatellar uh, ligament, the infrapatellar, but this is uh, on the coronal, the posterior crochet ligament, the anterior crochet ligament, the, menis the medial meniscus, and the lateral meniscus, the femur, the tibia. But this is MRI. How much I should know this is a bone marrow. This is not a bone. This is a bone marrow. Like the cortex, the cortical bone, which is the name cortex. You call them as a signal boy, black. Like. like in this signal due to bone marrow. And again, this is a ACL running anteriorly. This is ACL. And this is a BCL. And the one here, how the BCL posterior cruciate ligament. بيكونوا كيف بيكون لينير اهم شيء لوك تو ذيس نورمال لينير توتالي بلاك بسموه اوف لو سيجنال نورمال يعني عندنا انه بعد شوي حنوريكم اب نورمال بي سي ال ان اي سي ال فلوك تو ذا لينير ستراكشر اوف نو سيجنال بيكون بلاك فذيس از اي سي ال ان اولسو لوك تو ذا ني جوينت فيري امبورتنت تو بي اسيس باي ام ار اي ذا مينيسكاس بتشبه بسموه باو تاي ربطة العنق ال ال زي ال 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 زي الفراشة دي الباو تاي فبتشبهها يعني فذيس ذا مينيسكس الانتيريور هورن ذا الانتيريور هورن او ذا ميديال مينيسكس 
فدي نورمال منفكس لوك تو ايت لوك تو ذيس انتيرير اند بوستيريور هول اوف ميديان منسكا بقى احنا ميديان منسكا سكتنا عنه ظاهرين ان التيبيا اذا كان اللاتر منسكا بيكون مع الفيبيا فدي ذا ميديان منسكا عنده انتيرير هول اند بوستيريور هول اهم شيء الشكل بتاعه بيكون توتالي بلاك signal void this look to this uh, with characteristic shape اللي هو بسموه الباوتاي بيرا تشبه الربطة تحت العنقي دي باوتاي بيرا now we are now we are we finish the technique and uh, in challenge by the يعني in the remaining slide we are going to discuss mainly the trauma the fracture next Uh, week inshallah we are just we are going to discuss the other abnormalities uh, the musculoskeletal pathology can be divided into congenital diseases or trauma which we inshallah will be discussed today infection osteomyelitis arthritis joint disease can osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis or gout or uh, metabolic and uh, hyperparathyroidism ولا مثلا كان عندها مانيفيستيشن في البون هايبرثايروديزم مانيفيستيشن في البون هيماتولوجيكال كونديشن سوشيال مثلا سيكل سيل اور سالاسيميا كان بي بريزنت ويز ماسكولوسكيتال مانيفيستيشن ديو بلاز سوشيال اوتو ساركوما ايفن ساركوما كوندرو ساركوما اور فايبرو ساركوما اور بيناين تيومرز ايفن كونتروما اور اني اذر نيو نيو بلاستيك ديزيز فالان من السلايد دي اون فورورد وي ار جوينغ تو توك اباوت ذا رول اوف ذا ايميجينغ اون تروما فاعطيني البلان اكس ري شود بي دان فيرستلي فور اسسمنت اوف any traumatic patient. Then radiograph or conventional x-ray is, is clear trauma is invaluable and yeah, it's very important to be ordered, to be requested, to be done. It can diagnose the fracture easily and no need to, to other modality or other exam. It can assess the type of fracture, which type of fracture, is this comminuted fracture, is it symbol fracture, is it uh, What type of fracture is it? Green stick fracture by this plane X-ray, and can show the displacement. Is it displaced laterally? Is it displaced upward? Is it the fragment and the angulation? They may show the X-ray given the if there is any angulation of the fracture uh, fragment or not, and also uh, assess the dislocation or subluxation of uh, um, joint. with or without fracture and, and also can be used for follow up to assess the healing process if there is any callus formation well healing or not uh, the fracture is not healed well and if there is a complication of fracture يعني مثلا مال union or an union or مثلا يحصل لنا osteomyelitis also can be used for assessment of the this complication And also this plain X-ray can be used for uh, pathological fracture. I mean, I talk about pathological fracture. If the, the bone is يعني, abnormal before the fracture. And also can be used for a source of the soft tissue. Mm, soft tissue also can be well assessed by this plain X-ray. So plain X-ray don't miss to, to request the plain X-ray for assessment of fracture. آه طيب السلايد الجاي دي كلها تقريبا دي نقف لها في الام اس كي لكن نعمل لكم ريفيجن لها لان الفراكشر مهمه فراكشر از يحصل لنا انترابشن اوف ذا كونتينيوتي اوف ذا بون يعني ميسين اريا ان ذا بون سبيشلي ان ذا كورتكس ذا موست كومن كوز اوف ذا فراكشر از فيجوال تروما بس ات كود بي ديو تو فراجايل بون ساتيا زين اوسيوبوروزيس يعني ويك بون ديو تو other diseases osteoporosis or او احتمال احيانا يكون عندنا مثلا باثولوجي مثلا سيست اور ميتاستاسيس ان ذا بون 
or this also can cause, you know, uh, easily fracture for uh, in the bone. The signs of fracture, I would say like that, you know, different. we have uh, many signs of fracture. Any one of these fractures may be quite enough to diagnose fracture. I mean, I don't know if all the signs here. يعني one sign of, of this sign is quite enough to diagnose fracture. But this, the first sign of fracture is presence of line, line of fracture. This line of fracture may be loosened, black. But this is a loosened line. يعني interruption, interruption of the cortex by this new loosened line. But this is a, a fracture at the head of the radius. So the first sign of fracture is the loosened line. The second uh, sign of fracture is also the line, but it is a dense or sclerotic line. Yeah, obvious. Dense or sclerotic line also is the sign of uh, fracture. And the sclerotic day, you can, you know, this is sclerotic lesh, with a bit of loosen. The sclerotic is a lot of overlapping. Yeah, two, two, uh, two fragments has a lot of overlap. فبيحصل لنا الدنسيتي دي لذلك بيحصل لها از سكلوراتيك لاين او سام تايم بتكون حصل اذا عملنا الاكس راي ليتر بتكون ديو تو كالر فورميشن يكون حصل هيلينج يعني بتكون اولد فراكشر فسو ذيس از ذا سكلوراتيك لاين ماي بي ديو تو اوفرلاب ذا تو ايدز اوف ذا فراكشر بتكون مور دنس اور ديو تو هيلينج اوف ذا فراكشر فسو ذيس از ا لوسن اند ذيس سكلوراتيك Both are line, but these are the first sign of fracture. The commonest one is the loose and line. Actually, how you can see the sign. The second or the third sign is stepping the cortex. And if you follow the cortex, it should be well aligned. And it's, and it's no regular well aligned. And there is no uh, a cortex. Ma, ma, has a line, you know. Laterally move the cortex. And if you follow the cortex, it should be. Well defined, well aligned. يعني ما 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 شنو ما moving towards inner or medial or lateral cortex with align well. All parts are align are aligned. But in this way, you can follow the there is a well alignment of the cortex till we reach this point. There is a step. يعني كان عندنا درجة يعني there is a step in the cortex. But this is one of the sign of the Although it is يعني uh, difficult to be seen, يعني uh, uh, it is a very important sign of fracture. And also, if you look here, there is the interruption of normal trabeculation. ليش حصل interruption of normal trabeculation? Also due to uh, overlapping of the two fragments. The two fragments حصل لا overlap or impacted each, into each other. فلذلك حصل لنا التريشن ان ذا نورمال ترابيكيليشن نورمال ترابيكيليشن بتر هنا له نورمال لكن لوك تو ذيس اريا لوك تو ذيس اريا لاحظ انه ال ال في حصل انترابشن مع المنطقه دي نوت لايك ذيس ان ان ذا باترن اوف ترابيكيليشن هنا سموث في فيرتيكال وفي هوريزونتال عامله لنا النت وير يعني هوموجينس نوت ريجولار لكن هير يعني يقول المنطقة كده نوت يعني جايطة يعني زي ما نقول نحن ف ف زور إذا شنو؟ interruption due to overlapping of two fragments بيحصل لنا الالتريشن دي ف this is a college fracture إن شاء الله will be discussed in next slides يعني one of the next slides the other sign is the bulging or buckling of the cortex يحصل لنا زي نتو كده in the cortex بين هنا في ف if you look is there if you look to the cortex you you can see this كان حصل swelling كده the two but this is the most you know bulging there is a bulging or buckling in the cortex in the both side In the lateral, you can see this density there, they are bulging also in the snow, in the, um, uh, <coughs> in the lower end of the radius. Of course, there is a layer, there is a double, 
فيها دبل شادو كذا شكل البيش نتحرك يده وحصل لنا بلاني يعني سموها دبل شادو لكن look to this point you can see there is a bulging here so this is a شنو uh, buckling or bulging يعني نتو أو swelling يعني in the cortex so this is commonly seen in the pediatric سموها green stick fracture green stick fracture green stick fracture Uh, characterized by this, you know, uh, sign, like a bulging or buckling. Uh, do you need, do you need a uh, break um, for 10 or 15 minutes and then starting again or to complete all the lessons? Yes, as you prepare it. A uh, break for salat. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> for, yes, for the prayer. No okay. objections. Huh? Yes. Yeah, I... Mumtaz, Mumtaz. No, after the Ani? No, we need a break for, uh, to pray. Okay. Uh, break, 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 yeah. Yes, break, okay. <laughs> like, uh, 15 minutes break, inshallah, or 10 minutes. Is it enough? Yes. في خلاص 15 minutes إن شاء الله we will start at 7 20 25 إن شاء الله بإذن الله يعطيك العافية يعطيكم إن شاء الله شكرا دكتور